Welcome back, everyone. Today, let's talk about Reveria, the strongest mage in the current story of Dan Machi. While in history, Reveria is can only be ranked number two for being strongest mage of all time, because there's no one who can overcome the number one, which is Alfia. Alfia is Bell's auntie and a member of Hera Familia. I give you a brief explanation about Alfia can never be replaced for being number one, because she had the most magic capacity in the whole series of Damachi. She was called Monster of Calamitous Talent. In terms of talent, Bell talent is not near enough to Alfia. But there were differences of their ability now that Riveria is currently level 7, and she is the only one in history that who can use nine different magic. With this, she was called by the nickname Princess of Nine Hell. Riveria is among the race of High Elf, and she was already 99 years old. She was born in the Alf's Royal Forest as a member of the High Elf family. She lived there for 71 years until she grew tired of her father's negative attitude toward her interest in the outside world and decided to leave. She left the forest with her childhood friend and former personal chamberlain, Ina, with the help of Finn and Loki. Fifteen years ago, she served as a supporter for the Zeus and Hera Familia in the battle against the Behemoth and witnessed the subjugation of the legendary beast. She reached level six seven years ago after defeating the Delphine along with Gareth, Aias, and the Astria Familia during the Great Feud. She is currently now level seven. While still level six, Riveria, along with Finn and Gareth, was called the strongest fighting force of the Loki Familia. Following the announcement of the three top executives' ranks up to level seven, Loki considered that even Otter wasn't a big deal anymore. As a level 7, Riveria's physical abilities are all immeasurably superior to those of a normal person. In terms of raw physical prowess, her abilities are also exponentially superior to those of any level 6 or below. Also, her speed, agility, and reflexes greatly increased. Despite being a mage, Riveria is able to fight efficiently in close combat, having always had more skills and tact than anyone else. Having not only more combat experience than Aes, her knowledge of techniques and strategy make her much more powerful than her status alone indicates. She can use a high-level technique involving casting magic while fighting or moving around. Its difficulty is likened to dealing with a bomb with both hands while fighting due to the chance of failing a chant or not being able to control their own magic power. Skill at using concurrent chanting depends on how much experience the user has with it. Riveria is quite skilled, as Rayu is the only person Lafaya knows whose mastery surpasses hers. Chant connection enables Riveria to change the strength of her magic based on the chant length and mind usage. Through this, she is able to use nine different magics, which is the source of her alias Princess of Nine Hell, though she is able to use them separately as well. Riveria's All Nine Magic Number 1. Windfimble Vetter Windfimble Vetter blasts the opponent with an extremely cold blizzard and is said to freeze time as well as the enemy. Number two, Rhea Lyavatain. Rhea Lyavatain is a wide area annihilation magic. When using it, Riveria can discern if a person or a monster is within her magic circle, serving as a kind of radar. However, the effect is limited to working only in a horizontal line, so she cannot locate anything below it. It can instantly distinguish allies from enemies in a large deployment, and attacks the enemies only. Number three, Vas Windheim. Vas Windheim is an extra large, super long chant magic that can overturn a difference in levels. When Riveria used it as a high level five, it destroyed the wings and armor like scales and exposed the core of Delphine, a level six to seven black monster, which had proven impervious to all of her, and a high level five Gareth's attacks. Number four, Live Illusio. Live Illusio is a defense magic. Number five, Veil Breath. Veil Breath raises the target's resistance against physical and magical attacks and also heals the target slightly. Number six, Via Shilheim. Via Shilheim creates a barrier that completely blocks physical and magical attacks. Number seven, eight, and nine are all healing magic. It's called Phil Eldis, Luna Aldis, and Van Elheim. Riveria also had development abilities. Abnormal resistance can negate the effect of abnormalities such as poison. Riveria has reached rank G, so almost nothing can affect her, even the strongest poisons in high doses. Spirit healing. Spirit healing automatically begins regenerating Riveria's mind at a low rate after using magic. It is a rare ability, with Riveria, Hedon, and Eyes being the only adventurers so far that have it. Mage. 
Mage improves the power of Reveria's magic, widens effect range, and makes mind usage efficient. It also creates a jade-colored magic circle under Reveria when she uses magic. The ability grants her a magic stat equivalent to that of a level 8. In addition, as a high elf, Reveria was taught how to read sacred text, the language of the gods, having been able to correctly read and interpret the contents of Hashanah's Falna without problems. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy it. And if you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell so you won't miss our next upload.